Oh my goodness is right. <laughs> hey, I got my hairs cut. Yep. Got my grays covered up. Yep. <laughs> I covered up mine too with this dear hat. <laughs> hey, uh, good morning everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We're Happy Art Treasures. We're full-time resellers in Lincoln, Nebraska. We are rehomers of stuff and boy is that going to happen this weekend. We may be in a situation again. Oh, we always are. <laughs> we've we've always been. We get ourselves in these situations. We mentioned it in the last video. We have in two days. There's an estate sale going on right now in Lincoln, yep. and we are doing the clean out after it's over. And we were like, oh yeah, we can do that. We like agreed on a price. We agreed on like we have Monday or Sunday and Monday to do it. Blah blah blah. And we're like, oh yeah, because they'll sell a lot of stuff because they always do. And we saw. The footage this morning, the stay sale company posted a video going room to room, and we're like, That's a lot of stuff. Oh boy, there's a lot of stuff. I really hope they sell a lot of stuff. Always in, in these types of things, Steve is the pessimist. Is that the. Uh, excuse me, you were downstairs going, Oh crap, when you saw and certain I things. And I am usually the optimist. Optimist. Yes. And it looks like a lot right now, but it's a half off day today and tomorrow also. So they're going to move a lot of stuff. So it's going to be okay. I've kind of grown to love, uh, I'm not the pessimist. I am the poo pooer. That's I've, true. I'm kind of grown to like that. The poo pooer. That name Donna's given me. But guess what? What? Our reinforcements are coming. Well, we have some help, but I need to reach out today and try to find some more help for my, the physical my part Ruth of it. Ruth and Larry are coming to help us. Yeah, out. they help do the packing, but uh, yeah. I'm going to try, try and find some reinforcements. The poo-pooer. I'm the poo-pooer. <laughs> uh, so anyway, anyway. My, my optimistic and we can do anything wife, yesterday morning I came to her and I said, we're going to have to get, I don't want to, but we're going to have to get another storage unit. I don't want to, but guess, there's so much stuff. Guess what we're going to do And then time. she says, oh, well, I can make storage units worth of room in here. Right here. I can give us this much room. You know why? Because look. Back here is empty. Yeah. We emptied back here because yeah. we listed all that stuff over there. Yeah, we have. We can get most of this stuff all gone. All of this stuff is listed on dollar auction. It will disappear. Plant their work in this. The We're working on stuff over there. Is practically empty. <laughs> but <laughs> or maybe yeah. not. But we have stuff going to the booth, so you know it'll yeah. happen. But I will say this morning when Donna was watching that video, she came out and she said, "We're going to oh have to get another storage goodness. unit." Yeah. I really don't want to, guys. No. So, um, what what are we doing today? We're talking about what solds. Today we have to show you what solds. Yeah. We just wanted to kind of show you this because then the next video we plan on when we go Sunday to do this clean out, uh, we're going to film like the before so, and the after, the before, the during, the after. Um, so today we're just kind of talking about this. Okay, so look at it from here. This is what it looks like now. And at the end of the day, at the end of the video, we're going to tack on what it looks like at the end of the day. Okay. That's fair enough. I'm okay with that. So fair enough. we may be in a bit of a bind because we don't like to. Usually we get two days to do these and we just want to get them done one day after watching that video. We are going to go, we're going to ship. And then when we go to the post office, we are going to go stop by the estate sale and shop it and just see kind of how it's going and what's left. But it's not, I want to say it's not tons of furniture, but there are, is some furniture. But I don't know. It's just a lot of stuff. We will, uh, we'll just see how it goes, I guess. So, but for today, we got to get the shipping out. Yeah, so let's do that. All right, here we go. Okay, so... Sometimes when we need more room, we go through what is in totes in the garage, and I found about eight totes full of clothes from cleanouts and different things. And so what I did was I had Steve bring them all downstairs <laughs> into here. This is the clothing room. And I went through, I even have space back here that's empty, but I went through the clothes and pulled out stains old too old to sell worn out of style that kind of thing don't worry the vintage things I kept but 
you know, pulled out the things that I know won't sell and they're going to be donated today. And that's what you saw out here. That's it. So we got a whole bunch of empty totes. We'll take those upstairs <laughs> and then all these bags. We'll take those. We'll put them in the van and we'll take those to the city mission today and donate those. So we'll get this area cleaned up and then we're going to pull our orders and we're going to answer a couple questions in the middle of pulling orders. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. You guys want to see my outfit? See oh. who you are. They better know who I am. <laughs> okay, I'll show you my outfit. They're going to love Rain to Company. Oh, yeah. Because it's almost Husker game day. I won't be there. I'll be working. But get your bag, you know. Jeans from Target. Shoes. My mom thrifted. Because she'd she be doing that. Earrings from? H&M. In? Chicago. And my glasses because I'm blonde. I can't see I'm blonde. Anyways. Anyways. If mom puts this in the vlog, or dad puts this in the vlog, I don't even know who be doing that. He will. Oh. Introduce your friend. Peyton, you want to be in the vlog? Yeah. On YouTube? Say hey. Hey, we're shopping. We're, we're shopping. shopping. <laughs> your game day tomorrow. <laughs> Anyways, goodbye. Love you. Mwah. Okay, our kids are gone. <gasps> <laughs> if you saw the clip she made well if you watch if you're still watching you just saw her that's our that's our kid yeah. it's our 21 year old um let's go let's pull some orders okay here we go all right inbox lm there's one more at least one more simply safe box this did really good on that buy this thing yes this is the simply safe uh security base station right here and this was part of the $12 lot. I think we paid 12, yep, $12 lot. <clears throat> and that sold for $24.83. And it's going to Maryland? Okay. No, Massachusetts. I don't know, MA, where's MA? Sure. <laughs> Good enough. I'm pretty sure it's Massachusetts we're gonna go with that because MD is Maryland and MD MS would be Mississippi. ME is Maine, MI is Michigan. M.O. is Missouri. M.O. is Missouri. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's uh, go over here to the movie box. The movie box. You're looking for a stop or my mom will shoot Blu-ray. <laughs> right there, stop or my mom will shoot. That's from the Turtle Buy. That sold for $9 and going to North Carolina. That's fun. All right, now we need a wig at a box LG. All right, there's a box LG. Look at this cute little pillow. pillow. We have a moose pillow too like that? We do, but uh, Jada claimed it for her classroom. Oh, okay. All right, this is a Paula Young wig, and this sold. Paula Young. Got this at the bin, so didn't pay much of anything for it. And it's going international right there. I'm waiting for her to get the wig out. There it is. Right there. That's going to international, and it is going to Canada. Nice. In British Columbia again. Next. Next, we're gonna go to box 47. Oh, I thought it was gonna be in there No, again. way out here, and then we'll go back in there. Okay. This is probably a heavy box. This one, oh my goodness. I think there's a whole bunch of pewter things, but we are gonna get three pewter things out of here. Look, it's like pretty empty, but it's very heavy. It's Ice cream balloon, cart man. Balloon man girl hound dog. Balloon group in park. Oh yep, my that's goodness, it. that is super heavy. Yeah, these are, these are from Raven Circle when we cleaned out a house. Uh, well, we cleaned up many houses, so <laughs> anyway, we call it Raven Circle. It's about a year ago. It was a year ago over the 4th of July. Yeah. All right, there is the pewter figures. And they're pretty tall. Yeah. Um, there's a girl jumping rope. And then there's... Go ahead. There's a fella selling balloons. Yep. And a little puppy dog. Oops. Oh. A little puppy dog. Yep. And a little girl just got a balloon. Yeah. And those sold for $45. And they're going to Wisconsin. Next up is something Donna just listed very recently in box R16. R16. Is it in here? Uh, I think so. Oh, yeah. Oh, this box is full. It's another turtle. We've had turtles flying out of here. Stained glass turtle, Tiffany style, tabletop, tortoise, turtle, lamp. Keywords. 
<laughs> yeah. Look at that baby. And there it is. It lights up real nice with the little stained glass there. Sold for $42.99 and that is going to Arizona. Uh, in box R9 we have two different items. Okay, in R9 we're looking for, there's a G.I. Joe motorcycle and then there's a box with like an electrical thing. There's the box. Nexia? Nexia Intelligence Home Bridge. Right there, that sold for $13.50 and it's going to... It's going to Texas. And then in this plastic we'll get that out. I paid $2 for that. And then this is the G.I. Joe. The vintage from the 80s, 83, 84, it was 1982 actually, uh, motorcycle there. And I bought it at a garage sale for $1. It sold for He's missing. $18. And it is going to Omaha, right down the road. Did you know he's missing his handlebars? Yeah, he's missing a few things. It's just sold as is. Okay. Yep, that's that sucker is 42 years old. So <sighs> I'm missing a few things too after 42 plus years. <laughs> The next one is in firebox number one, which is one of the big boxes that we do. We found this, uh, well, this came from the fire buy. It's a die cast fire engine bank right there. You can see pictures of it. That sold for $21 and it's going to Colorado. Nice. All right. We just wanted to stop and answer a couple questions, honestly. Yeah. Uh, we've had a few questions and one of them is repeated over and over and over. And we know that some of you that watch a long time, you all know this stuff, but we get new viewers and stuff. And then they ask and they want to know what's, what is the dollar auction? Because as we auction? already showed you in the garage, like we showed, oh, all this stuff's on the dollar auction. Yeah. So what is the dollar auction, Donna? The dollar auction is a Facebook group and ours is specific to the town of Lincoln, Nebraska. And um, everything's, it's a 24 hour group, 24 hour auction group. Yes. Basically. So everything you put on there starts at a dollar, ends in 24 hours. You, we announce the winner. They come to us and pick up. There's no shipping, anything like that. Um, there are two here in town. And if you are interested in finding them near you, just search dollar auction. Yeah, there are dollar auctions in other areas. It's not just yep. exclusive to Lincoln. Um, there are, some you just have them, to find them. Some of them are countywide. Some of them are um, metro area. Yeah. Um, that kind of thing. So just search dollar auction or 24 hour auction or just plain auction on your Facebook groups. So basically, if you're just used to online selling, because a lot of people sometimes ask, a lot of people sometimes that don't they kind a of lot sometimes. each other. What's what's the saying? I'm I'm mostly right almost all of the time. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Uh, some people sometimes ask about if we do whatnot, and we don't do whatnot just for the simple reason that we have the dollar auction. It's really the same thing, only we don't have to ship it. We have to package it. We have to arrange. Pick for up pickup time. and stuff, mm -hmm. but people come pick it up and it's just so much easier. Like somebody, we listed a whole bunch of buttons and Corey and Therese were here and Corey's like, oh, those are good, do good on shop commons, but we can list them on the dollar auction, which I did last night and they'll be sold and I don't have to like package and ship them. So it's we really benefit. Are, we are very fortunate. We are very fortunate because we've been on dollar auction for several years, longer than we've been doing reselling full time. So I would say probably five years, five, six years. Oh, at least I'd say eight. And we've been doing, uh, oh yeah, because we started when before Jada was a freshman and now she's a senior yeah. in college. So eight years, um, we started just dabbling in it. and But people started following us because we have good pickup arrangements we sell good clean items we don't sell anything with smoke or and anything this is like why that. like this clean out after the stay sale this is why we can do this a lot of people that are resellers that don't have that local option they may not be able to move the things like we can move the things i guess storage mm -hmm. unit buyers do too mm -hmm. but we we are able to move things that maybe are not worth putting on ebay and not worth you know and big hassle or whatever we just have a place to be able to move stuff and that's so huge for us well and the other thing that i was going to say was we have a lot of followers who are resellers yes and so whether they have a booth whether they have an ebay store or some other platform that they like to sell on well a lot of people do buy from us because we can sell we sell stuff cheap. Yeah, we sell a good In percentage of our stuff to, to resellers. other resellers and mm -hmm. just let them 
then you know uh, part it out or in, you know sell it individually and make money but you too. know it takes work to develop a following when we have our garage sales we send out emails to all the people that follow us um you know the people that we've grown to know yeah through the dollar auction so um yeah we just feel really lucky to have that so that is a long explanation of what the dollar auction is. So if that sounds interesting to you, um, look on Facebook. Just search for dollar yeah, auction. Group. Search for your, like your town, your county, your air, whatever your area is called. Like there's one area in Nebraska it's Tri called Tri Cities. Tri City. You know, search that, and hopefully you have something like that near you if it sounds interesting. So it was, we are very, very fortunate, and we know that to be able to do that. Another question we have, somebody uh, that's local here that watches asked about they're interested in doing storage units. They want to know how we get our storage units. Yes, there are a couple different ways. <laughs> the first way, Donna is going to have a sad morning tomorrow because the first way is uh, live auctions. And the first there time we ever did it, it was live, live auctions. There aren't many live auctions left. There are not. There is one tomorrow morning. And as of right now, they have 15 units for sale. I don't know if Donna knows that yet. Yeah, and so if you'd like to follow them too, it's Eagle's Nest, and they do about two a year. Yeah, two or two three, or three a year. A year. Mm -hmm. That's the first place we've ever done storage units was at a live auction there. And then we found uh, most auctions are online. And Since you can go COVID to stor storagetreasures.net, storageauctions.com. And then there's a, it, around here in Nebraska, those two are the main ones that are used. Then there's also like Locker Fox, Locker Fox and Bid 13. Bid 13. These are just websites too, mm -hmm. but they don't really get utilized here where we're at. So the two main ones are storagetreasures.net, storageauctions.com. Mm -hmm. So check those out. So in your area, just Google storage auctions. Yes. Or abandoned storage auctions. Right. Or just ask around. You know what? Call your storage unit companies and ask them, hey, where do you, do you auction off the abandoned storage units? And if so, where do you do it? And they'll tell you so, you know, cause they want more people to bid on them. So, mm -hmm. so anyway, that's, that's what we do. Um, yeah. I think let's get the rest of the orders pulled okay. and let's keep on going so we can make a little bit of a shorter video this time. Cause it's, they've been a lot of longer videos. Okay. All right. Next is in box 99. Is this another fire buy? This is another fire buy, man. If you listed it, we'll sell. Micro Machines, little gold, gold fire, special collector edition of fire fighting things. That sold for $14 and it's going to California. All right, next up is box LX and we have two things in here. Both things are from the Columbus storage unit where we did two weeks ago, where we went for two days and we threw all the cords away. Funny story. Okay, if you're watching this, if you watched the storage unit videos, there was a part one and a part two two weeks ago. If you watched them, then you know that we threw out a ton of cords. And I mean a ton of cords. And looking back, like we thought, man, we should have kept all those cords. And we should have. knew If we knew then, what we know now. So anyway, as I was going through boxes from there, I found this Garmin uh, Forerunner watch. It's a GPS watch. It tracks your GPS, and it works. But you know what? It was dead, and guess what I didn't have for it? Charging cable. So I had to go on eBay and spend like six or seven bucks and get a charging cable for it. So what we've learned since then is if you get a bunch of cables, to say anything that's unique like this, save it, because you never know when you're going to need it. So to save unique cables to test things later on if they have a different end on it. So anyway, paid six or seven bucks for this, had to wait for it to get in, and then I tested the watch and it works. So now I'll sell the watch with the cable and it sold for $99. So that's awesome. Where's it going, you might ask? Alaska. She wants it to go to Alaska and it is going to Indiana. <laughs> Sorry. Thanks, Indiana. Thanks, Indiana. Also, in this box, now I can find LX. There's a ball glove. And this came from the same storage unit. Is that the Wilson? That's the Wilson. Right there. That's a little ball glove, and it sold for $15. And that is going to North Carolina again. All right, next up, this is an interesting tie-dye 
It's new with tags. It was made from someplace in Colorado. I don't remember, but it's Fruit of Loom. It's vintage, and it's leggings. There's leggings and a shirt, sweatshirt or t-shirt, uh, matching. And those have been on for a while, and those sold for thirty-five dollars. Wow. And they are going to Michigan, right there. All right. Next up is a fun thing that I really appreciate. If you know me, then you know why I appreciate it. But it is the last of the puzzles that we have on the shelf. We had three of these. Nebraska Stadium Puzzle. We had three of these, and this is the last one. And so we got them for a dollar each, and this is going to Iowa. Always love it when Husker stuff goes to Iowa. I'm going to Iowa for $16.14, so enjoy the puzzle. It's brand new sealed, and have fun putting it together. And go Big Red. <laughs> Play Colorado Saturday. Big game. Next up is a book from the $700 buy from early in the year. I'm going to run up and grab that. And then we got a couple things that Donna's going to show you. So when our friends Corey and Teresa came to visit last week, they came down and one thing they said was it always looks bigger on video. So our space is not as big as it looks, apparently. But this is the main room of our inventory and then this is just a teeny tiny bedroom that we have turned into ebay inventory space the shoes are in there we have a row back there and then a movable rack in the middle of the room a row back here and another row over here. But that's just a teeny tiny bedroom. Here he comes. Here I come. And then one other room we have is the clothing room. I think Steve maybe showed this earlier. But we have racks of clothes. And it may seem pretty big, but it's about the size of a full-size bed and a dresser. And that's about it. Okay, upstairs from the $700 buyout that we did early in the year, Spider-Man and Mary Jane book, $24. And that is going to MA again, Massachusetts. Is that right? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Geography wasn't my major. Oh, wait, I didn't go to college at all. You learned that in elementary school. Well, I didn't major at geography in elementary school either. Did I say Massachusetts? Uh-huh. Yeah, Massachusetts. Yeah, M.A. State, Massachusetts. All right, two more things. And Donna's going to grab them because they're her items. R16 is the first one. Okay. We were already in that box. Probably. Getting my work out today because it's a heavy box. All right, and you're, you're looking for a vintage witch. She's right here. All right. She came from the holiday buyout. All those boxes last weekend. Yep. And she's got a broom. And she does not have a tag. But there were a lot of Anna Lee items at the sale. And her face looks a lot like Anna Lee. Yeah. But there's not a tag on her. Uh, and she sold for $20.99. She's going to New York. And it also says it is a repeat buyer. So... Awesome. So if you're a viewer of this channel and you bought that, thank you so much. And if you're not, thank you anyway. <laughs> last thing, Donna, in box R10. The last sale is in box R10. And this is one of Donna's favorites also. Yeah. It's two cobalt blue <gasps> mugs. You guys, these are beautiful. What you've seen, I think this is the last of them, isn't it? Yes. This is it. This is what I saw when we went into that house and we told our friends yes because I thought these were so pretty. I hadn't looked them up, I just thought they were so pretty. And look at two of these, there's a set of these and those sold for $74.99 and they're going to Delaware. Made in the USA, yep. Libby's. Yeah, very cool. Celestial, is that how you say it? Sure, Celestial, sounds good. All right, so that is it. Uh, I was going to wrap up the video, but actually 
we're going to jump forward and you're going to see what the garage looks like at the end of the day and if we're ready or not for this clean out on Sunday. I better um, get busy. Inked picker, inked picker just went there. Uh oh. And she messaged and she's like, oh my gosh, you guys are right. There's a lot of stuff here. So we're going to ship and then we are going to go to the sale too today and just kind of assess the situation. <laughs> I'm excited. But, but anyway, all right, we'll catch up in a little bit. <laughs> if that's not annoying oh my goodness i'm out here working on stuff for the booth and stuff for ebay but i wanted to show you this we got this done yesterday we're all ready to do the clean out tomorrow but look it looks like well i don't know maybe the storage unit size we made room for so um we said we'd show that to you before we ended the video today, so there you go. We're all ready for the clean out tomorrow. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.